Hey guys. Welcome to Couple. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. Running an effective foreign policy for a global hyperpower is always tricky when the president happens to be a personally corrupt authoritarian bigot who is concealing shady ties to a strategic adversary. The problem gets even harder when the president is unable to grasp some of the basic facts and principles of diplomacy. Politico's Daniel Lipman rounds up several harrowing new details of Trump's attempts to interact with world leaders. Trump's shortcomings as a global strategist include, but are not limited to, the following areas, knowing all the countries. Maps indicate the world contains a bunch of countries whose existence Trump was never made aware of previously. Trump appeared confused by Nepal and Bhutan, which lie sandwiched between India and China, a person familiar with one meeting tells Lipman. He didn't know what those were. He thought it was all part of India. He was like, what is this stuff in between and these other countries? One of the things they don't tell you when you start running for president is, there are just so many countries. Knowing how to read the names of the countries after seeing them. In one case, Trump, while studying a briefer's map of South Asia ahead of a 2017 meeting with India's Prime Minister, mispronounced Nepal as Nipple and laughingly referred to Bhutan as Button, according to two sources with knowledge of the meeting. It's like having Homer Simpson as president, but dumber, time zones work, how do they work? Trump reportedly gets the urge to dial up foreign leaders, and has trouble understanding that they may not be working or awake at that moment if they are located on the opposite side of the planet. He wasn't great with recognizing that the leader of a country might be 80 or 85 years old and isn't going to be awake or in the right place at 10.30 or 11 p.m. their time, a former Trump National Security Council official tells Lipman. When he wants to call someone, he wants to call someone. He's more impulsive that way. He doesn't think about what time it is or who it is. A source tells Lipman the time zone problem comes up on a constant basis. Holding their daylight hours during inconvenient times is just another one of the ways all these foreign countries are ripping us off. Which countries don't like each other? Trump can intuitively grasp the concept that some countries will have better or worse relations with the United States. The idea that these countries may have different levels of relations with each other, independent of the United States, is a far trickier concept. During one meeting with Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, Trump repeatedly praised Chinese dictator Xi Jinping, reports a source, who notes that everyone was cringing.